Hari. All right. So I just want to mention that this is being recorded. And Sheila, the floor is all yours. Thank you. So hello again, everyone. It's Sheila Cahoon. I am from Southeastern Lower Michigan. I have um, been in the real estate business about a year and a half. October, actually August, it'll be two years. And um, I come from a background of um, jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> uh, basically all technology, all the time for the last 30 years. So software design, graphics design, programming, all of it, you name it, I did it. So um, I just wanted to take uh, some other asked me to, to share some of the knowledge I have, which I love to do every Monday in my software skills for agents. Um, but Heather asked me to put something together. So today I thought I'd show you some different things that you can do on your KB Core website uh, for custom pages, uh, things that you can add to custom pages that will make you stand out a little bit more than um, other agents that are in EXP um, and be able to have some value on your page to share with other people. So. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to add some videos to your custom pages. I'll show you how to add some graphs from InfoSparks. If you have InfoSparks on your MLS, uh, how to add that into your, your custom page. Um, and then I'll show you how to do um, kind of a customary testimonial page. So KV Core gives you a testimonial page. That's kind of boring. It really is no, no pizzazz in it at all. So um, I'd like to show you how to to show you a way you could um, pizzazz it up a little bit. And then at the end of the at the end of the hour, uh, I'd like to show you just a little bit about Google My Business, so you can make sure that you get your Google juice going out on Google and get found out there instead of chasing people down. All right, so here we go. On your KV Core website, you're going to come into KV Core and you're going to come down here to the web ID, web and IDX. Okay. In your website manager, now this is the newer version. I'm not sure if the older version is still out there uh, for people to use. Um, but either way, you're going to go into uh, manage website settings. Okay. And this should give you all of your pages in there that you need. All right. But the, the thing that I want to do, actually, I went too far this time. In this main page, uh, let me go back to Web and IDX. In this main page is your um, website content, which is your custom pages down here. All right. This is a place you're going to want to go to for your custom pages. This is a play page for your uh, testimonials. And then your service areas, you can change in here in case anybody didn't know that already. Okay. So to do our custom pages, we're going to come in here and we're going to click on view and edit. From here, you can add a new page. And um, right now I'm just going to go in and edit the pages that I've already created so that I can show you how to do that. All right. If you have um, video content on YouTube, uh, you can come in and add uh, your YouTube videos into a page. So that way, um, when people come to your website, you have a specific tab for videos, and then they can go right there. Or you can just share it based on uh, the video tab in your KB Core website. So you're going to title it uh, however you want to. I just titled mine videos. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to create some content up here about what the video is or just a title. You could even come in here and just do a title. So I can say, uh, get up here. Hey, this is. I don't want to give it all away right now. So I can say three. Top three things I love about Ingle side carbs. Okay, and I can jazz it up by making it bold, increasing the font, ch changing a different font, however I want to do it. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do to get this video in here is I'm going to go over to my YouTube channel. 
it's right here. So this is my YouTube channel and I want to get that specific video. That video is right here, okay? I want to get the link. So get shareable link. I'm gonna come back to my KV Core and I'm gonna plop in, let's get rid of that video so I can show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna plop in that video just simply by clicking on the carrots up here. And that carrot is source code. So what I wanna do is I wanna add in the source code for, um, for my video. So I am gonna um, drop in my video. Actually, I'm sorry, I did it the wrong way. I gotta get the embed code from there. So what I, what I have to do is I have to actually go into my video And I have to find my video, this one, and I have to get the embed code. So right here, hey, this embed this is code. With EXP Realty. Right here is the embed code right here, embedded. You want to get the embed code, not the link from this from the um, from the YouTube. You want to get this iframe code. You want to copy it. Then you want to come back to KV Core and you want to click on this source code. Just like that. You want to drop that right in there and click save. From there, you have your video in here. And all you have to do is change, um, add in that title. All right. And you have your video. If you want to add in another video, you just do go back and do it the same way. Um, to get another video, you go back to your um, YouTube channel. Uh, we'll go in and grab this one. You're going to click the share button. That face that is usually covered by grab the embed get the code for the embed code, come back to KV Core, click on the source code again, and paste in the next one. Okay, so now I have two. So now I can say, um, home just listed. and St. Clair Shores. Okay, or if it's a buyer's video, we can drop that in there. All right, so does anybody need me to go through that again? No, you just click on the embed code. So if I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna close out of this so I can show you again. You're gonna click the share button. You're gonna click the embed code and then you're just gonna highlight the iframe or you can click copy and it should copy the code for you link copy to clipboard um, then you'll take it back to your kv core website click on the embed and paste in the iframe code Okay, any questions there? That's for video. Any questions? No questions? What's the difference, Sheila, than just copying and pasting the link from YouTube for the video? Because you're embedding the, you're embedding the video on your website. So 
I'm going to save this for a minute because I want to go in and I want to show you the um, actual video on the website. It's not going to take you like if I put the link in there, it would take me to YouTube. The embedding puts it in your website, so it'll play directly from your website. So if I come back here, um, so once I once I create this video um, custom page, okay, we have it right here. We need to go back to our website manager and go into our manage web my my manage my website settings. Then I need to come to my custom navigation, which is over here on the left. And I'm going to scroll down here until I get to select custom pages for navigation or select categories. If you want to create a, um, a place in your um, title, like in your title bar on your website for categories, you can put that here. Or if you want to do it based on the pages you've created, you do that here. So as you see, I have videos here. I'm gonna click on videos. I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna go over to my KV Core website. And now you see I have videos here. So if I click on my video tab, here are my videos. And I duplicated that one. But if I click play, it's going to play right here from my website. I don't have to be taken over into um, YouTube and out of my website. The ideal thing to do is keep people on your website. Always, always, always. You don't want them to go over to YouTube because, you know, then you just go down rabbit holes after that. So um, any questions, any other questions other than in the embed? Nothing? Okay. So there's another thing that you can do uh, for a custom page, and that is to use um, graphs from your MLS. So I know there are quite a few um, MLSs that have this. I think all of them, almost all of them do. There may be a few that don't, but it's called Market Stats by Showing Time or InfoSparks. And what you can do is you can come in here and you can create um, graphs based on market data. So if you wanted to do a certain area, um, I'm gonna do uh, 48036, which is right by me. And let's say I wanted to do homes for more than this amount and they are only residential and uh, we'll do all garages and we'll do square footage of 15 to 2000. Okay, so if I look at this graph, the median sale price is 261. This is great information. Um, I particularly like using the average. So what I do then after I get this graph the way I want it is I click on the share button. And you can set up this graph to show you one year or three years, uh, depending on what you want. Um, but what I want to do now is I want to take the live data and I want to embed the data into my website. So I'm going to use the interactive iframe. And why do I want to use that? Because I always want the most up-to-date data on my website. So if I use live data that's embedded in an interactive iframe, it's going to always update when, that per when people go into that page. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, I also want to make sure that I pick a good size uh, to go into my website. So 800 by 600 should, should be a good size. Then I'm going to click the share button. Again, we're going to go in and we're going to grab that iframe embed code. Right mouse click and copy it. I don't want to close it yet in case I do have to come back into it and make some adjustments. But I'm going to go back here to my KV Core website and I'm going to go back to custom pages. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to go back to my custom page here. 
And here is my um, current page that I have that has some graphs already. Okay, there are some graphs on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and add my graph that I just did for Clinton Township. I'm going to add it after all of this. So after this code, all of this code, these are the previous graphs. I'm going to come in here and do, um, I'm going to paste in the new iframe code. I click save. And I scroll down. 48036. This is my new um, graph. So now if I save this, and I go back into my website, uh, I have to add that to my website. So I have to come back here and add my custom page into my website. So new Baltimore housing, I'm gonna add that page into my website. So if you look up here, as I refresh, you're gonna see New Baltimore Custom Homes, or New Baltimore um, Housing right here. Okay, so here's my new custom page. I click on it. Here's my new graph down here. Okay, and it's interactive. They can see from year to year, and they can get the information for that specific area. So this is, I did Clinton Township here and I put it on this page just so that I could show you. But you could set up a page for every market. You could set it up for every city around you. This would be a very good place to um, uh, share information from. So what you could do is create the page that says, um, you know, per city like New Baltimore or Clinton Township or, you know, and just maybe say market info and share just that page. You could share just that page on social media and it shows that graph information. It shows that really valuable information that people will um, see uh, in terms of average price, days on market. You can put all those different types of graphs here. So this one on for um, New Baltimore was median sale price, median price per square foot um, and average sale price. But you can do days on market that's, a, that's another one that's in this InfoSparks. So I'm going to close this out. You can do all of these different graphs from this um, software, from this InfoSparks. So you can do days on market. So here you see all the way down here uh, in May 2021, 20 to 21 days on the market is our average. I can tell you that's a lie. <laughs> At least for, for most of the ones I've seen. But it's, you know, it's, it's, it's data nonetheless, and it gets on your website and it's valuable information for them and, and it gets them reaching out to you. Any questions about InfoSparks? Or graphing? Nothing? All right. Any questions so far about anything? Anything? on KB Core or anything like that. I think people are really wanting to learn about the Google My Business stuff. Oh, <laughs> so everybody's staying for the bonus. <laughs> All right, no problem. All right, so a little bit uh, an, of an extra bonus here. We have Canva, and if you have not gotten Canva or, or been to, um, yeah. Um, if you haven't been to any of my software skills for agents class, um, I usually do a lot of Canva stuff. Um, I do other stuff, but I, I like to show Canva just because it's the main focal point of my business. I do, um, I create all my images for my website, for my social media graphics, for my YouTube channel. I create everything out of Canva. And I'm telling you for the amount of money that you pay for Canva a year, so well worth it. But what I wanted to show you was about the testimony page. So what I've done um, 
here is I've created images for my uh, reviews that I've gotten in Google, okay? And um, these were based off of um, sellers and buyers that I've had. So what I did was I took the house that I sold and I put here in this picture. I put my branded information here. I put the address here and I put the name of the seller here, okay? And all it is is an image. So what I, what I do then is I download it And that one is number three. So I'm gonna grab only page three. Uh, Phyllis, I don't use Instagram. So, but if I did, yes, I would use Canva for that. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to my KV Core website and I'm gonna come in here and do a uh, testimonial or uh, testimonial page. So I've done one here and I'm going to take this out so that I can show you what you can do. So I have downloaded my testimonial right here. It's in the bottom left hand corner. What I want to do is I want to add it to my page. So all I have to do is just click on here and what I clicked on was um, what I clicked on was this image. And then what I need to do is I need to upload the image into here. But KV Core being a wonderful platform, I can just drag and drop and I should be able to drop it right in there. And it will give me a link for my picture, okay? This, um, this is what happens on any website when you use an image, it gives it a um, a hyperlink or a HTT, a HTTP location. So, um, so that's what this is. So I'm going to click save now, and it's going to be in here as this big, huge image. Okay. What you can do is you can shrink it down however you want, make it as small as you want. You can make it as big as you want. Okay. The only reason that it was big originally is because I used that size on Canva. So here's my image. And what I did was I just took an emoji and I don't know if you know how to do this, but if you go to the emoji site, Emojipedia, and you type in star, you can get this star right here. And if you click on it and highlight it and copy it, you can then take it back to your KB Core website and drop it in there. And you can do that with any emoji. You can do it with a finger emoji. You can do it with a stop sign. You can do it with a house. Um, if we went back here and we did house, um, Here's this house, house with a garden, go like that, copy and paste. All right, so I just did that with the stars to give it a five star. And then what I did was I went to my Google My Business and I took off my review for this from this particular person. Just gotta find it first. He's not in. Yes, I have a lot of reviews. I gotta find him. Well, I'll just take one from somebody else. So you just copy the review and you just drop it in just like that. And then you can change the font to be whatever you want.
All right, so we've created a testimonial. Now that's just one. So I'm gonna go back here and make sure that I can see that on my, um, on my uh, top bar on my website. Go down to custom navigation. I'm going to add in that. Just sold and happy. Come back over to my KB Core website. And here's my just sold and happy. All right. So this is the, the testimonial page for um, that that is, you know, a little bit more um, pizzazz than this one. Okay. Um, I wish that KV Core would do something a little bit better for agents in terms of getting um, getting the testimonial, you know, out there in a more vibrant way, you know, kind of spice spice up your website a little bit, but they don't. Um, um, you, I don't know how to stop that. Um, I know that in YouTube, uh, when it when it's done playing, you um, it will show you usually whatever your interests are. It'll show you videos of that. Um, there may be a way that you can change it that it shows like your next video or your videos only. But um, I'm not going to go over that right now. Um, Software skills for agents is on Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hold on one moment. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, on Monday nights. Oh, thank you, Donald. And it's in, it's, I do it on a Zoom. I don't do it in the world. Um, I want to be able to. For, I want people to be able to see it, see me doing things, and then I want to be able to help people out. So um, any questions on the testimonial part on either Canva or KV Core testimony page or anything like that? Monday nights, I put it in the software skills for agents. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the, um, I'm gonna drop I already in. did. Uh, is that the software skills for agents group? Yeah, yes. That's, that's, where I, that's where I pulled it from, right below. That's, that's the Zoom. Um, it's not necessarily the same Zoom every week. But if you get into the group, the software skills for agents group, then you're you're sure to get um, the correct Zoom link every week. All right, so we went over um, graphs, we went over uh, testimonial, we went over videos and um, content. So does anybody know where to get content from? Anybody have any ideas? NAR. <laughs> NAR. Good one. Yeah. Not a lot of people remember to go to NAR, but yeah. Yes. SRES. Yeah. SRES -E yeah, -E has really great info. For IDX. <laughs> yeah. Um, wh what did you say, Roger? IDX and KCM. Yeah. Going. KCM is a really good place to go to. Um, Housekeepers is another good one. Um, but if you're doing anything senior related, I always say go to the SRES because they always, always, always have content always. And I would write a blog. Um, honestly, go to your KV core website and start using the blog feature, um, and create your blogs in there. Um, you, you're going to do it the same way as a custom page, except you're just going to add post. 
And you're gonna, it's gonna be almost the exact same way. You can do a video in there, or you can do a um, picture in there, um, and then just start writing your content about whatever it is that you've read about through either NAR or SRES, Homekeepers, KCM, any of those, uh, any of those places. So if anybody's wanting to do a blog, I did one several years ago, probably 10 years ago, and I just got a lady again today off of that one blog. And all I did was to explain the various fees in the villages. Mm -hmm. So if you specialize in a certain community, if you put in there, you know, there's, you get this and this and this and this for this much HOA or whatever your fees are, and here's how the taxes work. And if you have something like we do, homestead, et cetera, what we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. you know, one little blog can get you a ton of business. Yeah. And you can also put those info stats in there too. Like if I wanted to, you know, talk about that particular area or that city, you know, I can come in here and I could take this um, interactive embedded um, iframe and put that inside my blog as well. So if I come here and use copy, and then I come in here to my blog, I add the source code, okay. I just added this graph into my blog and now I can start talking about this information from my city. Oh, and then I, I did a video. Well, guess what? I can go in and I can grab my video for that city if I do have one. Or I can go in and grab my picture that I did in Canva from that city and I could put that on my KV Core website. So I can come in here and I can add this picture from my city, drop it in here and it will, will come on here and then just write my content. So Sheila? Yeah. In, in lieu of a blog, I, I do a weekly newsletter through KV Core. How, how, is there a way to link those newsletters to my website? No. I wish there was. I asked that question a while ago and they, they're they like, no, but you could do it like this and do it like, and, and it's like a process of steps. It's like, take your picture, take your content, cut and paste, do it this way. And that's not really what you want to do. You want to, I mean, what you, you could do exactly what they're saying and take your content and put it in a blog like this that's what you could do yeah because it be uh because i have i have you know a lot of content in there i have several things I, that i publish but i, I don't want to have to do an, a separate blog i was just hoping the two could be connected no the only way that i know to put a newsletter in any type of like social media or like have some sort of link is through constant contact or mailchimp or um, you might be able to do bomb bomb. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I really wish I hate that I hate that question because I asked that question and I was very disappointed that we couldn't. Um, so hopefully maybe that could be an enhancement that KB Core could add because that would be totally ideal, wouldn't it? Yeah, I agree. So when you opened up your uh, bottom of your web page for KB Core, did your testimonies? have that people could put in one there on your web page um on my web page is is there a place that they can add it yeah i thought yours had when you went through it, it looked like yours had a place yeah yeah so if they wanted to come in here and, and add a testimony into um into my kv core site they could i think when you yeah this you, add, you added that to a custom page then you add it to the top right no, no, no. This should this should be on your KV Core site. I have testimonial mine. Here it is. I'm sorry, it's under your agent. Okay, okay. All right, I was wondering how you got that. Okay, thanks. But I'm gonna tell you right now, don't use this. <laughs> I I think testimonies are great, but I don't think you should get them on your website. I don't think that you should put I don't think you should get them on your website. I think you should get them on Google. Yeah, that's, I, I just thing. saw that. I said, wow. Yeah. So as I'm sitting at my Google page, I could yeah. use that. So I didn't. Yeah. In fact, in fact, if you want to take it off, if you wanted to create that custom um, page, I'm going to not publish this. If you wanted to um, get rid of that testimonial page on your website, 
you should be able to go in there, do custom navigation. Go down there, turn it off. You could come down here and um, change out your testimonial page or your testimonial tab. It's under your agent. Yeah, you'll have to find it in here, but you should be able to take it out of your uh, navigation. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do home page testimonial. Let's see if there's another place for that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, right there, testimonies. Um, Zillow testimonies. It, one says child. Yeah, I'll have to look and see. I know there's a way to change those those settings in there, so I can see if anybody's interested in that. Any other questions so far? No, thanks. Oh, thanks, Dan. Okay. Um, all right, so we went over to the blog, we went over graphs and we went over videos and um, all that's good. Um, anything else on KV Core? No, okay. Let's go then for your bonus. We have about 10, 15 minutes to go over Google reviews, Google My Business, Google everything, okay? I, I, use Google a lot. I use it strictly for my business because um, I don't know about anybody else, but anytime I need anything, I go to Google. And so I think everybody else does as well. Um, and so if they are going to go to Google to find a real estate agent, I want to be that person. So I try to make sure my reviews are good and, and that they're, and that I get anybody who I've worked with. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's got to be a client, like a, a seller or a buyer. If I've worked with another agent, if I work with a loan person, if I work with a title person, if I, if I work with just a friend, you know, if I've done some, some, you know, side stuff for a friend and they can speak to my character, I want them to give me a review. So you, even as a brand new agent can always get people to do a review on you. Okay. That's how I started out my Google is I just I just helped agents do graphics design and showed them how to use Canva and just taught and taught. And I just asked certain people for reviews. And that's how I got my first initial reviews on Google. But the biggest thing that I had found from another agent, not even at, at EXP, but somebody who I found doing YouTube stuff um, is, is what I'm about to show you right now. Um, and that is this little nugget up here, okay? Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your info page um, on Google My Business. So if you haven't found Google My Business, it's up here in your little number, Google Apps number pad. I call it a number pad because it looks like a, a dialing pad on your phone, okay? You're gonna come in here and you're gonna look through your apps for this G store is what I call it, because it looks like a little store, okay? That's your Google My Business. And when you click on Google My Business, you need to get it set up and you need to get it verified and all of that stuff. I'm not gonna go over that today, but once you do, then you can come in here and start using it. If you need help setting up Google My Business, then hit me up on Workplace Chat and we can go through it together. So you're gonna come in here to info and this is where you set up all of your location and your service areas and your time and all of that. But this piece right up here is the piece that I want you to change. If you already have a Google My Business, I want you to change your business title, your business name to be your brokerage. And then I want you to use the um, up and down character, which is shift and the slash, then I want you to put your name, comma, realtor, slash, and this is where, this is where it's going to be uh, really good for you. Put either best or top, local, 
and then your area real estate agent. So right, right now I have mine, it says best local Macomb County real estate agent. And when I go over to a new window, new incognito, and I type in best real estate or best realtor in Macomb County, who's at the top? Me. So if somebody were to type in best realtor in Macomb County, I'm going to be at the top. I'm going to, my reviews are going to be top notch. Nobody's going to touch me after that. All right. I'm also Google verified, which means that my picture usually shows up here. Um, and uh, it's that in, oh, there it is right here. Okay. Uh, you can get Google verified or Google screened. Um, it does cost money to do that, but it's not part, you know, it's not part of Google My Business. So I just wanted to show you um, how to change your business name. Any questions on your business name? Okay, so how do you get screened or verified? <laughs> um, Google screened, you have to go to, um, let me see how to get Google screened. There's a link you have to go to unless somebody already has that link to get verified in my Google business. I think you mail. That's to get verified, yes. That's to get verified. But to get Google screened, you have to do it. Um, um, I think you can start here. No, that's not it. There's a link to get to uh, to start the Google screening. What I would do is just type in um, how to get Google screened. Yeah, it just keeps taking me back to the same one. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Just available guaranteed. No. Yeah, I maybe maybe go to um, YouTube and look it up. Maybe they have a link to that. Google screen is similar to Google guaranteed. Yeah, it keeps taking me back to this. So I don't know off the top of my head uh, where to start. I did it one time and, um, and, and that was it. So I apologize. Is that a one-time fee or a monthly? It's a monthly fee, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, I pay, I think it said um, per month and uh, and I paid $80, I think it was. And that was for a certain amount of leads. But if I'm wrong, um, please let me know. I'll figure it out. Thank you. Yeah. I wish I could find it um, very quickly. I apologize that I can't. All right. So moving on from this, um, make sure your ser service areas are completed and your hours, your phone number, and your website is on your Google My Business. So that way when um, somebody uh, types in and they find you on Google, and they click that all your information will be up there. Okay, website. Okay, and then these are all the reviews. Now, other things that you wanna make sure that you have done, I talked about the reviews, um, is to go in and post occasionally on Google. Okay, 
I always um, try to do it at least once a week. Um, I don't always succeed at that, but I do what I can and um, I create my content in Canva always. And then I um, drop it in here. So usually I'll drop the same content on Facebook as I do on Google. And um, same thing with pictures. So I'll um, add in pictures as well. Okay, so all I do is come in here and add an update, add a photo or a video. And then I put my content in there. I don't have anything to do right now, but I wanna just show you how easy it is. Any questions? And you said you went up to the, um, the menu bar in Google and got the Google store to, to set up your business account? Yeah, so go go to Google Apps. What is it? What is it? Oh, I don't see on my business on mine because I don't have a business account yet, I guess. Um, if you go into Google, just go into Google, um, Google, Google My Business, and then it should show you how to start it. Okay. Because I don't believe you have to have like a business Google account in order to do a Google My Business, but I don't know that for sure. Any questions? The last thing I want you to make sure that you do is to go out and do reviews on other businesses. So just as you would want reviews on your business, go out and review other businesses. Um, Beth Ellen um, Rosenthal, she's a great um, content creator. She has a content creator class on Thursdays in the world in the productivity center at 12 eastern um, she is a fantastic teacher on um, doing reviews for maps so what you what what happens is you go out and you review other businesses parks restaurants uh, just different things and do um, do reviews on them so that way um, people will see your name on different companies. So if you come out to maps here and let's say I want to Google, what, let's say I want to do a review for, um, let me think here. Um, uh, trying to think of a place around here. Um, there is, uh, Wise Guys Bar and Grill. Oh, there we go. Wise Guys is always good. They got good food actually. Yeah. Wise Guys Bar and Grill, okay, right here. Well, here's their information. So, so if we went there, which we have, and and I haven't done a um, review on them yet, but um, what I can do is I can come down here, and I can write a review. So I'll come here, write a review. I'll add pictures. So always, always, always make sure that when you're going places, no matter where you're going, if it's a park, a dog park. A, a beach, wherever, that you take pictures because you can review anything, okay? And then just add your pictures here, okay? Upload them to your computer and then you can grab them from here. You can then give, what, how many of our stars? Probably should just give a five star. And then add in the content down here, kind of like a blog. So kind of say how your experience was, what you ate, you know, if you're at a restaurant or like I went to Columbus Park um, this weekend with my family. We went walking on the trails and I didn't realize I'd been there several times and I didn't realize that you could bring your horses to this trail. It's 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 a park that I, I, I don't know a lot of parks around the area that do this, but it's a park that you could bring your horses to and you could ride the trails at the park with your horse. So um, they have markings for it to show which trails are for horses and which aren't. Um, and then there are um, areas that people have went into, like into the woods, and they've set up like forts and things like that. Uh, there was a tree in there that had wo woodpecker holes in it. Uh, so I took a picture of that. I'm going to be doing a review on it. So just something like that and talk about how, how, you, how your experience was. I enjoyed the pavilion. We had lunch there and it was amazing. The, the scenery was beautiful. It was nice and quiet. And we were um, so excited to see that horses were out riding the trails. 
There's also a train track that runs just alongside the park that we were able to walk up to. We wouldn't go on um, and we walked up to it and uh, my son loves trains. So he was excited. So, you know, just different things that you could talk about. But if you look up here, it's going to show them Sheila Cahoon, my local realty. And that's where you want that information to come in is your name to be there as a review. Does that make sense? Oh, Donald, you're wonderful. Thank you, Donald. You're welcome. You are so amazing. Yeah, just I looked, I've looked into it already. Did you? It's, 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 an, there's, so there's two. There's Google, my, there's Google um, screened and there's Google uh, guarantee. So each one of them, you have to go through several different procedures. So they're yep. going to do background checks on your business and validate all these different things. And yes. Make yep. sure you have a business address versus a personal address. Well, Please. your Google My Business, don't put any address on there whatsoever. Right. Just put your service areas. You don't right. need your address on there and you don't necessarily need your brokerage address on there. Right. And you when you go for Google Guarantee, they want it. Yes. They want to validate that it's a valid business address. Correct. Now, the insurance that they're asking for, because I went through the hassle of doing this, um, and I had to reach out to them several times via email, um, but your insurance that they're asking for is your E&O insurance that you can get from your broker. Uh, it should be up in SkySlope, ours was, but just get that E&O insurance. Uh, it's a um, document. Okay. Anything else? Any any other questions about Google My Business? I'm so glad you got that, Donald. Oh, I'm so grateful for you. Thank you. I would do the Google um, local service ads. I really would the Google, the Google screened. I have done it. I have gotten a few people to call. Like uh, there's been a few people that have called. No, no, nobody's nobody's been converted. They they've been rentals. Um, there was probably about four calls I've gotten and three of them were rentals. Uh, there was about three calls that I've gotten that weren't even pertaining to my business. And the good thing about um, Google is that um, you can uh, notify them that they were not uh, your business calls. They were wrong. So they won't charge you for those. Okay. So any other, any other questions or comments or suggestions or anything? <laughs> so if we, I, always if we want, do... I always want these to be interactive and, and I always end up doing all the talking. <laughs> so if we do need an address, what can, what's a workaround that we could use? Um, for what, your Google really My have, Business? We don't have physical offices. Uh, for Google My Business or Google Guaranteed? Uh, both. So Google My Business, you shouldn't be using any address. You should just use your service areas. Okay, you don't you don't need an address for Google My Business. You, you only need service areas. Oh my God, Donald, what a cutie! Um, the Google Guaranteed, you should be using your broker's address. Okay. The Google Screen one, it should be your broker's address. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to get around that. Where's your broker in, compared, com, in comparison to you? Probably like uh, a thousand miles away north. Wow. Don't they send a postcard that you have to get and send back? That's verifying it. Um, again, that's Google My Business verifying. Okay. But don't verify address. You don't want to do that. Tom, are you in California? Yeah. Okay, we have a brokerage in Southern California if you need to use it. It's in Beverly Hills. We have an oh, address. What do you mean a brokerage? Well, a, we have an, a physical address now because all, all of us agents were complaining about the only address we were able to use was up in Northern California. So like anytime that we wanted to do something, they got a lot of backlash from it. So they have a physical address now for us in Beverly Hills. So reach out to um, 
I'll, let me, I'll message you privately. Me message me privately and I'll give you the person to contact and he'll tell you what to do. Okay, I appreciate that. And yeah. Phyllis even said that they use the Regis address for theirs in Houston, but I, you know, if That's there are do. other- Beverly Hills. It's if there region. are other uh, satellite locations, like we have EXP, you know, like satellite locations all over, you know, like team locations, I think you could possibly be like, send the information to that office if you know somebody in that office and just say, hey, I'm sending this to this office, let me know when it comes or something like that. Or, hey, I'm using your address to verify, you know, EXP business. Because I think any, any office, team office, it's EXP could be used as an affiliate, right? Is my thought. Not an affiliate, but as a as an office, as a brokerage office. Yeah, but if you're trying to market yourself as the local guy in your local town, you, you kind of need a, a local address. I mean, well, I, that's why that's why you should have your service areas on there and not your address. You don't need your address. If you look at mine. If you look at mine, I don't have an address on mine at all. There's no address here whatsoever. Okay, there is um, there is um, an area showing where I work, but there's no address of my business. So where okay. do you put the your service area in Google Business? So that is under info. and under service areas. And you'll just add all of the areas that you work right here. Okay. I don't know if I did that or not, but back to your question about offices, I had the same question because we're too far away from our broker. Mm -hmm. And our broker flat out said, if there's a, what we call a, um, no, my brain just fried. But anyways, we all I have to do is call the person that's got that office and then they technically have to allow you to use that address for mailing. Right. Um, he said, you know, be nice about it, obviously, but you can't use it, but you can use it to verify or something like this. So. So again, I, on the Google My Business, different than Google Screened, I would use just your service areas. On Google Screened, you probably will have to use your brokerage address. Or like for you in California, maybe Heather has that workaround for the broker closer to you. It would be Bill Gross that deals with um, the Beverly Hills broker, like the the address. So co contact him. I just put his information in the thing for you. And he oh, can. Yeah. I see that. All yeah. right. Thank you. Or if he, there's something in San Diego too, there, oh, I think in Orange County as well. Yeah, I'm in he, San Diego. So that's. that's oh, awesome. Okay. Ask Bill about San Diego. He can help you. He used to be a broker, uh, one of our state brokers. And now he, he, he just has too much going on. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions? Thanks, Diane. Have a, have a good night. Um, any other questions from anybody? No? Thanks, Diane, for a great session. Yeah, no problem. Um, like I said, you really want to focus on Google. I, I always yeah. push people to do it because it is so very, very, very important. Don't look to Zillow for your testimonies. Don't look to your website for your testimonies. Make sure that everybody is coming to Google and giving you a review. I was using LinkedIn, too. Yes. Um, you can do it on LinkedIn, but always push people to Google, really. It's it's where most people, it's, if, if you go to Google to find things, to find businesses, where do you think everybody else is going? They're going to Google. So I really do push it very hard. But you, um, What got me is the way it came up. You have eXp Realty here, and then you have your name. Yes. You have Realtor. Yeah. Then you have the county. But when your name showed up with the county, I didn't know how that worked. So when you put when you put this part in, okay, um, this EXP Realty and then your name, okay, um, this is my business name, and these are keywords. So okay. this part right here is best local. So if I were to if I were to just go into um, 
into here into this new incognito window. And I just said realtor, if I could spell it, in Macomb County. I may not come up. I may not come up here. I do. But um, that's only because of my search engine optimization. But um, there's times where I haven't, you know, maybe my SEO wasn't as good at that time. Um, but um, no, I'll talk about when, you do, you, when you went to do the review of Wise Guys, it came up with a shortened name for you. Oh, 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 that part. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, I think that has to do with, um, I think how I have it listed on my YouTube. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at that one. How, why that comes up there as Sheila Cahoon and my local realty. Right. And that's it, what you want. it may be how I have my, my Google account. See, it says Sheila, Google account, yeah. Sheila Cahoon and my local realty. Mm -hmm. So it's SMC at my local realty. So that account is connected to this Google My Business account. So that's why I think that's coming up like that. Kayla, I think I asked you once before if you do Google ads and I forgot the answer. I have done them in the past. And when I do them, I do them with my YouTube videos. Um, so if I come back here to my YouTube video, I can show you um, what kind of um, views I got based on um, the Google, the Google ad. Um, let this come up here. So this one right here, uh, I'm sorry, not that one, this one. This one right here was one that I did a Google ad on. It was a just sold video that I did. And so this got me about 5,000 views. Um, I think there was another one, this one. So. so those are those are the kind of views that you'll get if you do the ads. But I want to get more organic views than ad views. So that's why I have kind of stopped doing the ad ones and try to get more organic ones. But I haven't done any um, ads with pictures or anything like that or uh, websites. So you're not doing pay for click, pay per click either, right? Those those videos from YouTube were pay per click. Okay. But I haven't done any ads um, for uh, like my website link mm -hmm. for like an evaluation or anything like that. I haven't done that. I've only did YouTube videos. Any other questions? No, nope, just thanks a lot for doing it. All right. Well, thanks so much, everyone, for coming. And hopefully you guys took some stuff away today. And always reach out to me on Workplace Chat. I'm always available for any anybody if you need some help on your computer or software or you just want to chat. Or if you have a referral from Michigan, I'm here. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Sheila. Sheila. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Sheila. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Heather. you, everybody, for coming tonight. Don't forget, Thanks, Sheila. next Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks a lot, everybody. Hey, uh, Donald, what do you guys have any uh, anybody next week? You know, what are we doing next week? We have that comedy troupe that was supposed to be with us, but it was during yeah, everything that was going on. And yeah, so they're actually going to do it. Um, they'll be back on Tuesday. Wonderful. Yeah. Good to hear. All right. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for doing it. Bye. Thank you.